what's up guys today I'm going to show you how to replace the sky with a time lapse so I'm using this shot here it's actually not a great shot so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it in slow motion so I'm going to hit that little dial there I'm going to go automatic speed and it's filmed in 60 frames per second so it can slow down by by 40% and it'll be smooth. I'm actually going to slow it down even more for this effect. So what I'm going to do is right there I'm going to hit shift B and then I'm going to skip skip three frames or maybe a few more skip five frames hit shift B again and then I'm going to zoom right in and right here I'm going to go custom and I'm going to do 3% okay zoom back out and see it's glitchy to smooth that out we're going to select the clip go to the little speed dial and video quality optical flow this is just going to smooth out the slow motion and uh, yeah just make it look a lot better really so So yeah, that's nice and smooth now. Just gonna extend this end bit as well. Cause I like, I like how the camera strap sort of just holds in the air and then kind of falls down. And that's a good end to the shot. Okay, so it's quite a stationary shot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stabilize it and I'm gonna add a bit of motion to the shot. So, I'm going to go to the beginning, hit the transform button, hit the keyframe, and I'm just going to zoom, zoom right in, and I'm going to start down in the corner and make it a pan up from the rocks. So that's going to be the start of the clip, and as it gets to the slow motion, I want it to be... right there so I've added another keyframe where the slow motion is and then right towards the end of the rest of the clip I'm just gonna move the shot a little bit so it's almost as if the camera pan slows down as the shot slows down so that'll just add like another cool effect to it so once you're happy with how your shot looks what you want to do is you're going to copy and paste your clip and then hit V on the bottom one just to disable it and then we're going to add a Kia to the top frame so go to effects keying Kia and then hit sample color and just select your sky and Okay, what you're trying to do is make the background completely black and the person and the the foreground um, really nice and crisp and spill level you just want to put that to zero otherwise it changes the colors okay so what you want to do here to make this key look really good is you want to zoom in and the idea is just to Get, we want to get rid of this white outline so what you want to do is so you want to go to map tools and then just use the shrink and expand just to get rid of that white outline fill holes put that up a little bit just going to add a bit of contrast to the clip just so I can see it a bit better. Okay, so once you're happy with the Kia and we've got rid of that white outline, that's what's going to make it look so much better. Okay, so let's go back to fit. Let's enable the clip. Press V on the clip below. Okay, so now you want your time lapse. You want your clouds. 
what you want to do is put them in between each shot so there you can see it's already starting to look good okay now what you want to do is add a luma key to your time lapse use the sliders to make it go completely white and then you're going to hit a keyframe at the place you want the clouds to start fading in and then move along the timeline to where you want them to completely fade in and just move the sliders back so now you have your clouds fading on just like that so yeah, to finish off the effect, I'm just going to add an adjustment layer, the letterbox effect to that, 2.35, and then I'm going to add a bit of color correction. And there you go, that's the effect done. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.